hi welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you this 3d truck memory decks card that i created from a lori whitlock file um, i will link the svg in the description box below in addition to the lori whitlock file you're just going to want a memory decks card svg which you can find plenty of them free online for the truck i used the fall market collection from Cartabella Studios. I use the digital collection, but you could use whatever uh, paper you wanted. I love this project. It would be great. Obviously, I decorated it for fall, but I could totally see it as a Christmas truck as well. You could really do it for any holiday. But let's go into the design space and I'll show you how I created the file. So I have the truck file uploaded as well as my memory decks card in design space. The first thing you're going to want to do is add a square so that you can slice the memory decks card just to create a one inch base for it. Now, as you can see here, I am just lining it up and slicing so that I have one inch on the bottom of my card. Once you have the base of your memory decks card created, set it off to the side, and we're gonna work with that Lori Whitlock file. You're gonna wanna resize the image so that it's five inches in width. Just bring down the size, you don't need to unlock it, you wanna keep the dimensions the same. Once you've resized, you're gonna wanna ungroup the file, and we're just gonna work with the very back base of the truck. Duplicate the file and set one off to the side, and we'll create the memory decks base using the truck, and you're just going to attach the bottom memory decks card. When you attach them, you're gonna to want to align both the bottom and center horizontally on the card. Once you've attached both pieces, you will have your memory decks base. Duplicate the image twice. So you have the images duplicated work with this set here and this is going to be the front of your memory decks card duplicate it and then flip horizontally to create the back of your card the purple images i'm going to cut in 110 pound cardstock and then the pink and the lavender images i'm going to cut in a pattern paper now go up and you're going to work with the license plate i decided that I didn't want mine to say truck, so I contoured it just to make it a flat image. And then I'm going to write whatever I want on it. This time I'm probably going to do a little pumpkin, and I think I did autumn on my other memory decks card. Put this into a writing font, and then simply change your font size. I ended up changing the letter spacing in mine so that it would uh, cut a little closer or write a little closer together and then just attach the image onto the license plate that will give you a written design on your license plate when you print it out uh, well when you cut it out i just put a marker into my cricket obviously you could do you could just leave this blank and put a sticker on there do whatever you'd like you can take out the green square that's in the back. I ended up hand cutting that. Um, it's a personal choice, whatever you would like to do. But I wanted mine to fit perfectly right on top of my box that I will be hand cutting. You're also going to want to duplicate the tires. And I just layered them together onto the memory decks card to give it a little added visual interest. Now you're just going to want to cut your project out and join me back. I will show you how to put it together. So these are all the parts you should have cut out. You're going to have a front and back to the memory decks card, and I used a pattern paper for this. You're going to want two of 110 pound cardstock for just the inner um, the meat of the memory decks to keep it nice and sturdy. And then I did uh, my truck in orange I wanted to do. 
Um, and then you'll have four tires. You'll have the wood for the uh, sides of the truck. And this is your side panels right here. This is your window. I cut the bumper and the headlights out of a silver glitter paper. This is just a trim that's gonna go on the bed of your truck, but I actually chose to hand cut the bed of my truck because it's just a simple, um, simple box that we're gonna make. And then this is your license plate. And I know in the video I did pumpkin, but I had done this prior to. So I did autumn on this one and then I just did a glitter accent for the backing of the license plate. So to start out, we're just going to start gluing our main pieces together. All right, so now that I have all of my pieces put together, I did the same on the back and then it peeks through down on the bottom. I did do a little bit of distress ink in a sparse, spiced marmalade around the edges of the truck like so. And I thought it just kind of gives the truck a little extra depth. But once you have this together, we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna start creating the bed or the, the pocket of the truck. So you're going to cut a piece of paper that's five and a half by four and three quarters. I did this in the same orange that I made my truck because I want the bed to match my truck. But of course you could do whatever you like. On the five and a half inch side, you're gonna score at three quarters of an inch. Okay, do a quarter turn. Actually, if you wanted to do the other one, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch on this side as well. Now you're going to come over here and do two inches. And I like to flip it and do it again at two inches, but you could keep it in the same spot and then just do two and three quarters of an inch. But this way you're just guaranteed that everything um, lines up accurately on your um uh, on your truck bed. So make sure you burnish these edges really well because you're you're gonna be making a box. Just make a cut right up to that first score line. And you can even trim out at this part just to make it a little easier for yourself when you're gluing everything down. And again, right up to the tooth, the score line. And when you're done, you should have the makings of a box. Grab your glue, and I'm going to put a little glue right here, and a little glue right here. Same thing on this side. Push this in, there you go. Got yourself a little box. Do the exact same thing on this side. Make sure all your edges are tight and then you can take I cut this two by four 
and you can put it on the front of your box like that. You could do this before you did the sides of the box if you wanted, um, either or. I want it like that on there. And once again, I think I'm going to go around the edges with a little bit of distress. And the, tr the box is just gonna get glued down so that it lies even with the bottom right here, this edge. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Now we're just gonna finish putting all our accessories on. Like I said, I kind of doubled up on the tires to give them a little extra depth.
so this is what we have when we're done decorating it. Uh, like I had showed you previously, I put the tires on at the bottom and I did layer those up just to give it a little, um, you know, layered look to it. Give it a little depth. Um, the sides of the truck I put on with the pop-up dots once again given it a little depth same thing with the bumper and you can see that i layered my um license plate right on the bumper with some pop-up dots i put some pearls on the headlamps and then of course i when i put these on i shaded them with a little bit of brown distress ink so this is what the memory dex card looks like compared to the one that i had originally made now as you can see on this one I did um, a banner across the back and then I filled it with some pumpkin embellishments uh, for whomever I send this to to use. And these are these are just a simple oval pumpkin that I made. I welded this together in design space and then added uh, some pop-up dots to the center oval. I added a little hand cut stem and a tiny leaf punch along with some wire that I just corkscrewed on a skewer. But I thought these could be some fun Thanksgiving fall embellishments for my partner. Uh, this one I did embossed with a leaf embossing folder that I had in my stash. Same thing, hand cut on the stem and then a little wire, some bows. A uh, couple of these you can see where I came in with a marker just to give it a little extra oomph. But uh, thank you for watching and I can't wait to see what you create using my tutorial. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next video, bye.